It is lunchtime here in Matera and it is another cold, rainy day. Winter is officially here. Actually, today is December 1st. Mm -hmm. So really, the holidays are around the corner. Yeah, we're seeing yeah. lots of Christmas decorations around town and it's, yes. it's starting to get festive it's in the evening. It's so chilly too. Like, I'm using my <laughs> scarf as a blanket yeah. while we eat lunch. Um, but anyways, yeah, we found this really cool restaurant. It's called Nadi. It's in a cave like most buildings seem to be here in Matera. And today we have decided to do a four course meal. Yeah. However, our stomachs aren't really trained for the Italian way of eating. So we're gonna share <laughs> one four course meal yeah. between the two of us. We've already ordered some red wine. Which one did we get? It's called Primitivo. Okay. Um, so yeah, some nice red. We have a little bit of bread and these cute little, I don't know, like round pretzely things. Yeah. Pretty good, they have fennel. Um, fizzy water and we're waiting for the first course to arrive which would be antipasti that's right, right? That's the local it's local salami and cheeses excited for that one for sure mm -hmm. all right guys so this is the antipasto lucano this is our first dish and oh my goodness we've already been eating some of the meats it looked amazing we just couldn't we couldn't contain we couldn't ourselves. resist so the waiter did tell us the names for everything but i mean I don't know the language, so I can remember maybe like three. I know this one was the ricotta. Yeah. This is the salumi. Yeah. And this one, I think he said pancetta. Yeah. The other four, I don't know, but they look wonderful. It's a so I'm gonna dig of, in. Of, looks like uh, soft and hard cheese. Yeah, and, and it's all local. It's like all local yes. cheeses and deli meats. Which is super cool. So should I do all the meats or all the cheeses? <sighs> you get to choose. Maybe, maybe I'll do all the cheeses and you can do all the meats. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I feel like we could be here forever. Yeah, we have a lot more Oh my food gosh. Food. Wow, oh, so wow. I'm digging into this one. Whoa. Ooh, that's an interesting consistency. Wow. Yeah. It's like harder on the exterior and then it's like oozing from the middle. Mmm. It's good. Wow. No, it's very light. I'm like... It has a lot of water content. It almost reminds me, is it the Bocconcini? Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, it could be. That yeah. Italian cheese that comes in water. It's kind of like that. I do like this one. You like that one? Might be easier to spread on bread for sure though. Yeah. Let's try some ricotta. How's that? Mm. Good? Okay. Um, creamier than yeah. the first, for sure. I feel like they've put them from like soft to hard. <laughs> I'm just it's gonna, all strategically organized. Yeah, I think so. Just pick it up and bite it. Mm. This one has a stronger flavor. Yeah. I really like this one. It looks it's a hard cheese. This huh? and wine. <laughs> mm. Well, we got lots more wine left. Mm -hmm. We've only, so far, we've only used like less than half of the bottle. Yeah. So we're in good shape with our wine. And then this is my fourth cheese, which looks even harder than the rest. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Do you, so, out of the, wow. amongst the four, do you have a favorite so far? These two. You like These the hard, you like the hard cheeses. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to try them. They're very good. <laughs> All right. So I have passed the yeah. plate over. Sam, you're gonna show us the meats. I am gonna show you the meats. So I think this here? is the salumi. This Are is. You seriously, using a fork and a knife to eat your salumi, Sam? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm nice and thick. The salumi is really good. That's the only one I've oh. tried so far. I've had a few pieces. Oh man, it's got a, um, a subtle bit of, of spiciness and a little bit of gaminess too. The more you chew it, mm. it's kind of like the flavors reveal themselves slowly. Okay, let's try this one over here. This one I forget the name. Ooh, it but feels But again, hard. it looks really good. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What do you think? It's delicious. It would go really nice with bread, and yeah. well, maybe maybe a bit of the hard cheese over top. Yeah. And, and this third one, I believe he said pan, pancetta or pancetta. Ooh, this one looks really. Has a soft. bit more fat. Soft and fatty. Yeah. Let's slice that. <laughs> it would probably be easier if you were using your fingers. Oh probably my not. gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you think? That might be my favorite one of all. Really? It's really soft, yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Well, we Lots are of off labor. to a great start, I would say. Yeah, this is just the beginning, guys. Yes. We've got three more things coming. So next up, we're moving on to our second dish, which really is the primi piatti, primi yeah. piatti or something like that, which means first dish, it's typically a uh, pasta. Right. But we decided we didn't want just one pasta. We wanted to have a little sampler plate. So we, we've got so three different kinds. We've got three different things going on. Yeah. So this pasta here, it has red peppers and breadcrumbs. And this other one we've had before, it comes with mushrooms and the pork sausage. Yeah, that's, that delicious that's really good. Spicy That's pork what we sausage. had when we first arrived. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're having a big bite. It's very good. Getting a little bit of everything. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in there. Mm. This is my favorite pasta, though. And with this sauce, it's been so good. If I had to choose one favorite dish from our time in Matera so far, it would be the spicy pork sausage and the mushrooms. Yeah, this that's is really wonderful. good. That's mm -hmm. really good. Also, we, we travel with a pretty big camera and a mic right on top of that. And apparently they're, they're filming a movie about Maria Magdalena here in Matera right now. It's a really popular destination for biblical movies because it looks like it's straight yeah. out of you know, Bible times. So they thought we were like with the crew and maybe we're filming the rest of <laughs> No, no. And we're like, no, it's no, just no, no. Just you two. <laughs> it's so embarrassing though, oh my god. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna share the pasta with you. Actually, maybe I should try this. I don't even know what this is about. Yeah, try that. So he said this is like a legume soup, but honestly yeah. it looks more like beans and barley and chickpeas, so let's see. <laughs> Mm. Is it good? Mm. On a day like today, that is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's just different kinds of beans it's and a thick, creamy. Thick fill you up kind of. Yeah, uh, dish. exactly. All right, my turn. Mm. Oh, so nice. Three different things to choose from. Yeah. And you know the antipasti. That is just such a good idea in an Italian meal because yeah. it's like you come to the restaurant, you're hungry. You want your food and they just bring that right away yeah so they i mean and that that, that filled us up quite a bit so. it really did <laughs> honestly so arm slime the one now has got like um breadcrumbs it's got the, the red peppers yeah the red those peppers. are sun-dried mm, those are crunchy yeah yeah really crunchy mm. that's nice it's like doesn't come in a thick sauce or anything it's just uh, you. You really taste the pasta. You really taste the crunchiness of the peppers. Yeah. And the crunchiness of the bread. So now I'm gonna try the the one that we really Ooh, like. Ooh, that's my favorite. Our favorite. Mushrooms on mm -hmm. salsa. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we're gonna try to replicate that one someday. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the bread and the beans. Let's try some. Here we have Sam drinking soup with a fork. Mm -hmm. Will he manage? Will he manage, Mr. Caveman? Everyone always mm. says Sam is like a caveman, the way he eats. And today he's eating in a cave. I'm eating in a cave. You're Look, eating in a cave. Caveman cave. in the cave, finally. <laughs> finally, caveman in the cave. This, this is so good. This is like surprisingly good. I thought this might be a little bit bland, but... Yeah. Mm. And this is only dish two out of four. That's right. Keep them coming. Gum. Okay, this next one is called secondi piatti. And typically it would be a meat dish, but we were in the mood to go vegetarian. Yeah. Actually, this just sounded good. Yeah. And it's basically a baked eggplant. Oh my gosh, oh. if you could see the cheese, oh, the yeah, layers of cheese under there. It's got cheese, it's got tomato sauce. Yeah. Yeah. I bet this is going to be so good. My. This might be the, this might be the unexpected hit of the meal. Yeah. I mean, it's all been good so far, but I'm really looking forward to trying that one yeah. too. Yeah, and like on top, it looks like they sprinkled some Parmesan cheese. It's all like nice and crispy and golden. Yeah. Some basil leaves. Oh boy, I'm really full. Surprisingly full after two dishes. Mm. Good. Wow. Wow. This is so good. It's like steaming. It's still hot. It looks like it was cooked in this clay pot. But man, that is wonderful. Oh, I so to, cheesy. It is super cheesy. Like just the layers of cheese in there. But I really need to try and save some room for dessert. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. 
Yum yum. Glass of red to go with it. What else could you ask for? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, the final that. stretch, the fourth course. Yes. Let's Dessert. do this. So we ordered a slice of ricotta cheesecake to share. Yeah. So far, it looks more cakey than cheesy, to be honest. They gave us a nice big slab. Mm. That's warm. Is it warm? Mm. Oh, wow. It's served warm. I'm going to it's guess. drizzled in a chocolate sauce. Some icing sugar dusted on top. Is it good? Is yeah, it dense? it's like dense. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd describe it as dense, but okay. it's an interesting mix of like cakey yeah. and cheesy, yet spongy. It's good. It reminds me of um. What's that bread dessert? Bread pudding. Bread pudding, okay. Kind of like a bread pudding okay. consistency. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, Sam? Fourth course. Oh my gosh. Fourth course. I probably, the, the first course almost did me in, so. <laughs> that's, yeah. I ate so much meat and cheese, and then all that pasta. It's just been so good, though. Like, I just can't. But when I'm having good Italian food like this, I just cannot stop myself. What do you think? Oh, wow. It's so much different than I had anticipated when we ordered it. Yeah, because we've had ricotta mm. cheesecake before, but this is a completely different style. Yeah. But I like it. I do like it. I really like it. It's uh, so much fluffier than, than yeah. what I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice cake, though. They showed us the the entire uh, the entire cake <laughs> like yeah. before he cut it. Yeah, before they sliced Very it. Very impressive. Like, huge. Like, huge cake. Can't believe how big it is. Mmm, well, nice way to finish off, and my goodness, I'm gonna need the world's biggest siesta for this. I know, we were thinking... I'm already falling asleep right now. First we were thinking, kidding. like, maybe a little coffee, or maybe a DJ huh. but there is no way. No way. This is no it. No way. This is it, guys, so we'll wrap it up with the price point in a bit. We just got the bill, and this is awesome, because they brought us each, I should say, a limoncello shot. Limoncello. So before I tell you the price point, let's have a little bit of this. A little tipple, as he oh. says. Wow, sweet, potent, very sweet. That's the thing that comes to mind. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it'll it'll help you know burn a little bit that's been accumulating in the belly. You just look so happy to get some free alcohol. Oh uh, yeah, it's just it's nice getting free stuff. I mean, who doesn't <laughs> like that? Anyways, um, mm. in terms of price point, that came to forty three euros, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, uh, we had a huge thing of fizzy water. Mm -hmm. Half a half a bottle of wine. Uh, yeah. Thanks, you. Half a bottle of wine. Uh, then the four course meal. Yeah. Big bread basket. I know this. So you know, it wasn't cheap, but it was really good. And uh, yeah, we just had a wonderful meal here. Service was fantastic. The atmosphere was cool. The food was great. So definitely recommend coming here. And yeah, the ultimate sign of a, of, of a feast of feasts is that I'm going to need a huge siesta. There's a rotund chicken alert that she's been, uh, there's an advisory that she's been put out there <laughs> here in Matera. Oh, We're so, so full, so done. We'll see you guys on the next video. Ta-ta.